Watachi again here, guys. Um, this is going to be a short video, uh, but I only did, I'm only doing it because, uh, you guys, I get so much information in, and I try to remember them to get them into uh, the videos, and it just it's usually by the time I stop a video, I figure, oh, shoot, I wanted to talk about this, too. But it, it, I'm not sitting here, people. I'll, you know, I'll even show you. I'm not sitting here with a computer in front of me. Anywhere around, I'm not sitting here with a note board or even notepad or anything. All my videos I do are from memory. From everything is memory. Uh, that's why, you know, I might say a word wrong or it might say three and mean five or whatever. But everything I do is from memory. So uh, that, I, I don't always get to or remember to say everything I want to say in one video. So this is going to be a short one. I got something sent to me uh, that was a student uh, at a school that uh, was given, uh, or actually a whole classroom of students, was given a paper and told that they should take this paper home and have their parents help them fill it out. And at the top of the page, now this, I, I, from what I understand, it was like elementary, uh, like, and it was somewhere in Indiana. Um, but, uh, it was, I think it was like first through sixth grade. So I think it was elementary and, uh, but this at the top of the page, there are, there was 10 blank spots on it. And then at the, the question above it was what top 10 things would you take to a resettlement camp? Now, I'm going to repeat this just in case you might have misunderstood any part of it. There was ten, this piece of paper that the school teacher gave the students. Now, I don't know how many of them got it, but I do know this one class got it. And they were asked to take these home and you and your parents fill it out, bring it back the next day. Ten blank spots, and at the top it said, Top 10 things you would take to a resettlement camp. Let that sink in. Let it sink in real good. People, they tell you what they're going to do before they do it. Why would this even be a question to be asked to an elementary student? Because that's where they're going to start with it. And they're going to, oh, they're going to try to make it like a fun thing. Take it home to your parents. You and your parents have fun and fill it out. And which, you know, which stuffed animal are you going to bring? Or which game are you going to bring? You know, make a fun thing about it. My head would explode if my child brought home a paper that she, they was told to Take it home and you and your parents fill it out. And it, at the top, it stated top 10 things you will take to a resettlement camp. Then, when I think about that question, and I think this is their way of bringing this out to the public of what they're going to do, then I think back to something that I've seen many, many video footages of. And that's of these big plastic rows stacked. I think they were 20 or 30, 40 high. It took up acres and acres and they were plastic caskets that you could put two, three, four people in and then seal it. And they, down in Georgia, again, that's where these were being stored. Haven't heard nothing about them in a long time, but you got to wonder. Is that settlement camp coming after a bunch of a virus kills off millions of people and who's ever left? Are they the ones going to go to the resettlement camps? 
or are they just going to push resettlement camps on all of us? On all of us, dead or, you know, whether they kill us with a virus or not, they could just force us all into resettlement camps. Because they want to keep us all in one place, folks. They don't want to spread out across the entire country. What do you think the fires out in California are about? They're burning people out. What do you think all the storms down, uh, the hurricane, a hurricane, people, listen. A hurricane hit Texas. Stop. Back up, went back out to the Gulf of Mexico. Built up power again. Hit Texas again. Stopped. Backed up. Went back out into the Gulf. Built up power again. Hit Texas again. That's never happened before. And it'll, it will, well, it could happen again because they controlled that. Uh, the other hurricane, as big as it was, took up half the country. Hit the East Coast. Man, these store, these super cells. You never heard of super cells back in the, when I was a kid. These super cells are what they're doing. People, they're getting, uh, they, can, they can use the weather. They can burn us, burn our, they can burn millions of acres out to get you, to put you where they want you. Folks, you don't even own your property. All they have to do is tell you to get off. That's all there is to it, folks. And they're telling you, these people, I don't know how many schools. I, if I'll tell you what, if your kids brought home a question like this or a paper like this from your school, please let me know about it. Because I know of one place in Indi Indiana that it happened. And I'm sure if it happened in one school in Indiana, it probably happened in more. So let me know, people. Maybe it'll help wake your eyes, open your eyes a little more and wake you up. May God bless us all, folks, and may God bless our children, that's for sure, because none of this is their fault. Have a good day, folks.